This is the western desert of Egypt, one of the most arid and hot regions in the world. This vast desert area constitutes nearly two-thirds of the entire land of Egypt and covers a significant portion of the North Africa Grand Sahara Desert. Right here lays the New Valley, a land of extreme contrasts and astonishing beauty. Crossing this region means experiencing breathtaking changes in sceneries, slowly passing from cliffs to plains, between sand dunes and archaeological remains, from immense and dry landscapes to dense life and rich biodiversity. In the middle of the desert, surrounded by an arid immensity, for thousands of years, life has flourished around various blooming oases that still bear the signs of an antique civilization. The morphology of the New Valley region is the result of natural forces of wind and water on sedimentary rocks, assisted by upheavals and tectonic action. It's assumed that the depressions were formed 1.8 million years ago, and that the oldest rocks date back to the Pliocene, the Oligocene, the Eocene, and Jurassic periods. Entering the new valley from the north, one of the first most spectacular features is the White Desert. Its unique landscape is a protected area, sparkled with gigantic chalk rock formations, shaped throughout thousands of years by wind and sand erosion on huge sedimentary rocks. The extraordinary profile of this place brings the visitors in an evocative dimension The New Valley dry landscapes are dotted here and there with saline tolerant plants ranging from grasses, shrubs and trees to halophytes that slightly soften their harshness. The desert also conceals an astute wildlife, able to adapt to unreliable precipitation and torrid heat. Heading south from the White Desert is the way to the biggest dune field in the world, the Great Sand Sea. Entering this endless expanse with the help of local guides is the occasion to get the unique feeling of being in one of the greatest unexplored areas on the planet.
The Great Sand Sea is one of the last frontiers on Earth and will probably remain so for years to come. Ancient armies have disappeared here in the past and legends even tell of entire cities buried under the sand. After a good dinner on the campsite, the desert around transforms itself into an even more mysterious and endless place, where no limits stand between you and the cosmos. the Bedouin nomads who navigated the desert for thousands of years. After a long travel in the western desert, here we are, finally reaching the oasis. Natural ground water sources feed these fertile lands, where spring water bubbles up naturally from the Nubian sandstone aquifer. Farmers have been cultivating oases since the dawn of civilization. The people of the New Valley adapted to the harshness and converted the environment into an hospitable place, thanks to hundreds of springs and wells that have been running night and day, uninterruptedly, for thousands of years. Farafra, Dakhla and Karga are the three main oases of the region. They were born as stop points of the ancient caravan routes, supplying valuable food and water, making trade possible between the Mediterranean coast Sudanese savanna, the Nile Valley, and the North Africa Sahara oases. The oases provide vibrant life for more than 200,000 people in the New Valley Governorate. A mix of peoples, Libyan, Nubian, Sudanese, Berber and Bedouins, who traveled to the oasis throughout the ages, contributed together to the creation of the oasis' culture and tradition for generations. Oases are known for their rich and diverse wildlife, a habitat that makes the oases great gathering points for migratory birds on their route between Europe and Africa. Oases have played a vital role in the civilization of the Sahara Desert. Entering the towns, strong marks of the past are still visible around the several fortifications that were built on the top of hills during Ayyubid and Mamluk periods. When garrisons settled in this area, 
to protect people resources from the threat of outside invaders. The historical center of Casa Dakhla tells us about those prosperous ancient times. It dates to the 12th century, but it was built over a pre-existing Roman fortress. The history of this prosperity, in fact, started much further back in time, as testified by various archaeological sites, dating to the Pharaonic, Roman and Coptic times. Several sites prove the presence of the ancient Egyptians, who did maintain links with the oases throughout the Pharaonic era. Like the Hybis Temple, that majestically lies in the surroundings of Kharga, or the large necropolis of Kila al Daba, partially hidden by the sand, close to the Dakhla oasis. The oases enjoyed a period of great prosperity during the Roman domination. The numerous archaeological sites around the oases give an idea of the importance of the Roman influence on the region that became the grain basket of the empire. Close to the Karga oasis, the proud Roman fortifications of al-Dababib and Casa al-Labecha were built on a network of aqueducts that still bring life to the few descendants of the ancient settlement. When the Christians came, they occupied some of the older Roman sites. Ruins of Coptic churches and communities dating back as late as the 7th century testify of the splendor of the time. The Bagawat Cemetery in Kaga is one of the most important Christian necropolises in Egypt and dates to the 5th century AD. Most villages in the oasis benefit from a traditional craft industry, bearing the mark of the local history and traditions. The abundance of wool, clay and palm trees found in the oases has allowed the carpets, pottery and basket industry to flourish in many villages where those traditional skills have not faded at this day and age. is becoming an attractive destination for travelers from all over the world. Many of the secrets still to be discovered here. Amateur archaeologists, enthusiasts and adventurers can all live a unique and unforgettable experience in this corner of Egypt.